Hey guys, this is Steve Corian from the PTC community bringing you a tutorial on how to make threads on a fastener. I modeled up uh, this M10 by 1.5 fastener. Uh, it's a standard fastener. Uh, I also have a Dropbox account, so I'm going to put in the comment section below a link so you can download this file. I'm going to save it as a step file for you so you can follow along. You can download it and follow along if you want. I'm also going to include the metric screw dimensions in case any of you need them for future reference in the comments below as well. And uh, when I first started doing CAD design 12 years ago, I actually worked at a fastener company, a pretty big one. And a lot of mistakes that I see made by people are they run the major diameter here all the way up to the bottom of the flange, and that's not how they make fasteners. <laughs> it's the simplified way to make it in CAD, but if you're going to make a real fastener, uh, this is actually your pitch diameter, and it's about one and a half to two pitches away from the bottom of the flange, and you have chamfers on both ends. Generally, when I'm using models, I use this. It doesn't take up a lot of space. It doesn't look as cool as something with threads, but it saves me in space on huge assemblies. But anyways, I'm going to show you how to create a thread today. It's really simple. Um, and let's get started. So the only command you need to worry about here is helical sweep. And you're going to go, so you're going to go up to insert, helical sweep, and cut. Now it brings up two dialog boxes. And the first dialog box is basically a dialog box that is saying that's where it's asking you for all the information to make the thread. So the one on the right is essentially just asking me to define where we want to sketch at. So you want to keep it constant for a normal metrics thread. Leave it at leave it at through access. You want a right-handed thread. You want to select done. Now it wants to know what plane I want to sketch on. So I'm going to select my front plane and I'm going to hit OK. Now this is looking for a reference, a reference plane now. So you can hit right and then you can select the fastener. And now it's in view so that you can sketch. The next thing it wants is a length of the helical sweep. This is how far you want the helix to uh, go. So this is really simple. First thing you need is a center line. So I pick the center line, I put one in. The next thing it needs is the length of the helical coil that it's going to make, or helical thread. So you'll notice that my trajectory is set to going away from the part, which is how I want it. And the length, I always run the length past the end of the fastener so that I get a true run out on the end of my chamfer. So I'll set that to, I don't know, 30 seems, well, we'll do 35. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a diameter. Now, this is the important part. Uh, you want to put in a diameter. I'm putting in the diameter of the pitch diameter. So that would be 9.026. Okay. Now you're probably wondering why am I doing that? Well, this OD, this major, that's my major of my thread. That is 10 millimeters. This is actually where the root of your thread will reside. Now, the next thing you need to do, now you don't have to ever do anything in this box. Everything you do is with this check mark here on the right for now. So we're going to hit the check mark and it's going to ask me to enter my pitch value. Now your pitch value is the distance from the top of one thread to the top of another thread. So the pitch value for an M10 standard thread is 1.5. So I'm going to enter that in and hit the green check mark up here at the top. 
Now you'll see it reorients and the this little arrow, every time you fill out the information that it's asking, this little arrow goes down to the next group of information that it needs. So the next thing and the last thing that it needs is what does what does your thread profile look like? This is very simple. So I'm basically going to draw uh, a triangle to start. I'm going to put a radius on the bottom of it. And that's going to be 0.217. Okay. Standard threads are 60 degrees. So I'm going to make sure that that value is in there. I'm also going to make this radius tangent. This line was already here. This is our this is our curve that we want it to follow along. So I'm going to make this radius down here tangent to that guide curve that we put in uh, a couple selections ago. And then I'm going to control this top here with my major OD. So I'm going to make it 5, which is actually 10. Okay, so I'm going to hit the check mark. And it's asking me for a direction. We want to leave it and hit OK. Now now we're done it's not you'll see there's no little arrow next to any of these elements so we're, we're we're finished with the thread so now all I have to do is hit OK and you can actually see the thread is in there this is what an actual thread looks like okay you can see there's true runouts on the beginning and the end of the thread which is where it would actually start and you can change the pitch of your thread by you know if you wanted to make it a fine thread you could go in and change the pitch to 1.25 or 1.0 I think would be the smallest you could go but this is uh, how I create my threads uh, it's very fast it's very simple it's accurate and if you want ever need to edit it let's say you wanted to edit your thread profile itself you left click on the function the uh, feature then you hold right click and go to edit definition and then when it brings up this menu now now it's pretty safe to select in here so if you wanted to change your pitch you would highlight it and hit define and let's say I want it 1.0 and I hit OK. It updates my thread to a fine pitch thread and this is what it looks like. It's pretty simple, it's fast, and, uh, and, uh, and I hope you guys found this tutorial useful. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to comment, rate, and uh, if you have any uh, more tutorials that you would like to see, please let me know and, uh, and, I'll, and I'll make those for you. Thanks, this is Steve Corian from the PTC community bringing you another tutorial. Have a good day.